Hi everyone, welcome back to another interview series. My name is Meher from Newfoundland and today I have the privilege to interview Darren Palantina from Shrewsbury, UK. Hi Darren, how are you doing? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you for being here. So Darren served 14 years in the military across both the British Army and Royal Navy, then later went on to work in the world of recruitment. During his time in recruitment, he spent three years working in the military uh, recruitment, then later moved into the defense recruitment with the Alexander Main Solution AMS, where he worked as a lead sourcing specialist with their client Bay Systems. With over 10 months of this position, Darren mainly used LinkedIn for sourcing and vetting ideal clients, candidates across the world for high profile positions. Fast forward today, Darren now runs his own LinkedIn profile optimization agency, where he and his team specialize in building high performance profile for business owners and career transition professionals, job seekers. His profile service focus on the importance of professional designs, clear copywriting, and the full keyword and search engine optimization ensuring the individual is presented professionally and the profile can be easily found by potential clients or recruiters who are headhunting for candidates to fulfill positions. Your profile is more than just a profile. It is the final point where a decision is made by a potential client or a recruiter to hire you or not. And Darren's quote says it all. You got one shot to make your profile count. So Darren, let's start from there. So how can job seekers link, use LinkedIn to find jobs and how can they make their profile optimized that they are fulfilling all the, all the keywords, the banner, the headliner, the about section? So what's your take from that? How can they make it optimized? So we've, you've probably come across it a lot, a lot of times where they say, you know, like your resume and your CV, it's, it's important to tailor that to the job that you're going for. And it's very important with your profile as well, because All right. if you're if you're a job seeker and you're trying to get a new career path, you're trying to transition somewhere else. How you present yourself on LinkedIn is very important. And that goes the same as like service providers and job seekers. It doesn't matter which way you go. When people come to that profile, it, it needs to be clear on, on what your your goal is for for what you're trying to do so if you are trying to get that career you need to mention the type of career you're looking to go for in the location you're trying to get to if it's remote you can say i'm open to remote working but if you're like say in my case mm -hmm. in shrewsbury if i was looking for an on-site position in shrewsbury i would need to make sure that my profile is very clear what i'm looking for because what happens is a lot of times people get random dms from recruiters with job opportunities that are completely irrelevant to what they're looking for. And what's happening there is because the profile is not clear, same as if you have a generic CV and you keep sending it out, but what are you looking for exactly? Mm -hmm. So that's what I mean. It's very, very important for, for the profile to be clear. Okay. That includes like your headline, your banner, your, your about section, all your, um, your experience, you know, your work experience, um, uh, as well as like your skill set. Um, you know, mm -hmm. there's a lot of elements within the profile that is important to fill out correctly. And then what people don't see on the other side, because I've come from recruitment, so I know the opposite side of this, is there's many filters yeah. within LinkedIn Recruiter, mm -hmm. which is you can filter people right down to the location, what they're looking for, keyword optimization, even down to you know when they've got the open to work setting. If they're looking for a new job, they can have open to work. And there's two ways you can do that. One is public open to work, which means that you'll have that green mm -hmm. banner on your profile photo that says open to work. Um, the other one is is privately, so it's not public, but you can still set, have an open to work setting, which means any recruiter using LinkedIn Recruiter can still find you as an open to work candidate. So that's how we look at the LinkedIn profile for job seekers. Um, when it comes to keyword optimization, you want to be putting keywords in your custom URL, you know, at the very top of the profile, like it goes right from the top all the way through. So yes. you're looking at the custom URL. If you're like a graphic designer, you want to add graphic designer as keywords within your URL next to your name. So it'd be like linkedin.com mm -hmm. forward slash in forward slash name followed by a couple of keywords, if that makes sense. And then from there, then you've got your banner, yes. which is the, the main headline, which is where you want to grab the attention of what you're looking for. Be clear in there. Mm -hmm. 
you know, if you're looking for new opportunities mm-hmm. in a lo- location, maybe start to think of a headline around that. And then the next thing there is to push them to the, the headline and the about section. If they want more information mm-hmm. about from the about section, you can say, go to my experience section, go to, you know, my recommendations of past employers, go to my skill section. Like if you're in anything that's visual, like video, graphic design, writing or anything like that. Now in your services section, you can now put PDFs yeah. in there or, or, or PNG images. So you can kind of build a mini portfolio then of your past work within your services section now, which is something that LinkedIn's only recently yes. added. Okay. So it, it's trying to make mm-hmm. good use of all these different tools that LinkedIn have given us. Mm. And I just want to ask specifically for headliner and maybe in the banners for especially for new immigrants or new graduates that they don't have that much experience. Is there anything specific that they can include in those two areas? So if you're lacking experience, um, it's a difficult one with um job seekers because the way we'd spin it with service i know i'm going to talk about service providers just briefly but the way if you don't have any experience in what you're doing working with clients as a service provider what i always suggest is giving you know free work to clients in in return for recommendations now that doesn't help a job seeker because a job Mm -hmm. seeker doesn't have that but what they can do from um again if it's visual then you can put forward portfolios of writing, portfolios of design, video work that you've already got, like that portfolio. Um, if it's mm. something that doesn't include um, any kind of visuals that you, you can use for a visual proof, then it's worth speaking to your past employers and getting the um, either recommendations or, or some kind of like short testimonial mm-hmm. about what you're like to work with, you know, are you punctual? Are you always on time? You know, these kind of things that people are looking for, but it's also important to make sure if you're going to ask for a, um, a referral from past employers, you want to look at the job adverts that you're targeting yeah. and you want those recommendations or referrals to make sure that they mention a couple of those points on the job advert as well. You know, the like keywords, you know, yeah. there's going to be stuff within that mm-hmm. job. But it's normally like um, essential and desirable skills and requirements on a job advert you want to look in them and see where you can put those into a, a linkedin profile and also your recommendations and that's probably the, the the best way you can do that now with a banner um mm-hmm. i wouldn't necessarily yes. put social proof within a banner but i would start looking at making the headline on the banner very very clear about what you're looking for you know as job seekers you know you, mm-hmm. you can put in there i did a i did one for um, a, a bomb disposal guy a banner for a bomb disposal guy in the navy and what we mm-hmm. did we, we we did a design but then we had all his qualifications listed like the, the, the top eight eight qualifications i think it was six or eight qualifications listed in the top of his banner which then meant as soon as you see the banner the the the, the industry that he was looking to target plus his experience it was all bomb disposal and military related in sort of military colors but then it meant that would catch the eye of anybody who understands bomb disposal and they they work with bomb disposal professionals Mm -hmm. but then it also meant then at the top he's also got his 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 qualification c so it's something to keep in mind there it's trying to make best use of that banner hopefully that answers that question yeah thank you for that darren so for the audience watching or listening for the first time I'm going to ask Darren a couple of questions and I'm going to post them on a daily basis. Kind of a journey with us. You can watch, like, share. So tune in next time for another great question with Darren.